Okay, now I'd like to show you some, you know, different techniques and uh, just some things that you can do to add to your songs to uh, just kind of enhance the songs and, uh, you know, add a little variation to them. So uh, I'm going to go over a couple of picking techniques and also a couple of strumming techniques, you know, so we can, you know, go over and explore both sides. Um, the first technique that I want to go over with you is the roll. Okay, and it's a single finger, single finger roll. Okay, basically you're going to use your index finger like this, and and when we roll, okay, it's basically we want to just use our wrist, but we don't want to use an up and down motion like this, not an up down motion, but more of a twisting motion like this. So for example, if you're going to open a door, you know, when you grab the doorknob, this kind of twisting motion, that's the kind of motion you want. And you just want to relax your fingers like this. Okay, so let's try this. Let's hold our D minor chord with our high D note there, okay? And let's chord that, let's uh, just roll. control the roll so you should be able to make it very soft or loud yeah. make it really soft or slow it down okay just like that you want to be able to have total control over your roll all right and that's the roll okay. all right the next technique that uh, I want to cover is uh, something called a triple strum and um, basically, you're going to be using your index and your thumb finger, okay? And I know you think, okay, triple strum, so shouldn't be we be using three fingers, but it's actually it's actually just the index and the thumb like this, okay? And the stroke looks like this. You're going to strum down with your index, come up with your thumb, and come back up with your index. So it's a down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up with the thumb, up with the index. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so try that. One, two, three, one, two, three, a little faster, okay? And you can uh, either leave your hand open or you can close it depending, you know, you can do it this way or you can open your hand, whichever way you feel more comfortable, okay? So let's try this, ready? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, good. Faster, good. Good guy, faster. Okay, keep it real even. Got it? All right. Okay, so let's try this with a chord now. Let's try holding your A chord like this, okay? And we're just going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? Do that with me. Now we're gonna do it. Uh, we're gonna do it a little bit differently now. Instead of just you know, uh, we're, instead of just um, you know doing it over and over and over, we're just gonna do one two three one, one two three one. Okay, one two three one, one two three one. Down up up down down up up down down up up. Just like that. See. So let's try that with the A chord. B flat. A. like that. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. Good. You got it. All right. And that's the triple strum. Okay. Now this next technique that we're going to go over. Uh, okay. We did the single finger roll. We did the triple strum. Now we're going to do something a little bit more, uh, something a little bit more unnatural. This is called the 10 finger strum. Okay, the 10 finger strum. All right, it's very simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna use your right hand, okay, just your right hand like this. And uh, it's called the 10 finger strum because um, what it is is basically, uh, basically you're using all five fingers twice, okay? <laughs> so you're gonna, you're gonna come up with all five fingers starting with your thumb. One, two, three, four, five and then come back down starting with your baby finger. One, two, three, four, 
5. So 5 and 5 is 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, got it? Let's try this, all right? Hold your A chord for me. Get ready. Get psyched up. All right, here we go. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Down 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? So this is what it looks like fast. Watch. Okay? Got it? Got it? Okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to go in between chords like this. And I'm going to I'm gonna keep it rolling. So I'm going to come up like this, come back down, come up, come back down, come up, come back down. Okay, watch this. Got it? And that's the 10 finger roll. Strum. Or roll. Whichever roll. <laughs> you can call it what you want. <laughs> 10 fingers. Hey, there you go. Okay, now we're gonna go over some advanced picking techniques. Um, now, usually I try to use uh, as many fingers as, as I can, but my main weapon would be my thumb. This is probably my, my main tool. Um, I like the thumb because the nail is, is the thickest nail, so I get the fattest tone with the nail. Okay, so whenever I'm playing single note melodies, I will always use my thumb, all right? Now, uh, so you know, the thumb can be used you know, playing downstrokes like this. Okay. Or we can also use upstrokes too, like a double picking style like this. So I'm going to show you. Okay. Now, for those of you that don't have a nail, you can use a pick. They have We have thumb picks too that you can use or a regular flat pick. But I, I prefer using the thumb because, uh, you know, it's just, um, I don't know, I, I really like my thumb. Hi, thumb. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so anyway. All right, so let's try this, okay? All we're going to do is we're going to put our two fingers on, on the soundboard like this, and we're just going to kind of get a good brace, okay, just so, you know, we have a good reference of where our thumb is. And let's practice this on the second string like this, okay? So you're going to strum. You're going to pick down and then up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, just like this. Now try two strings. Try the second and the first. Okay. Good. Okay. Now just the first. Good. Now the second. Now both. Good. Okay. Now the third. Good. Now the fourth. Now third. Second. First. Hey, very good. So that's that's your double picking technique there. Yeah, just utilizing the thumb and just up and down. Okay, and try to keep your thumb straight. Try try not to bend it like this. Yeah, don't bend it too much, but try to keep it more on the straighter side. Okay, you got it. Good job. All right, the next picking technique that we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna use some multi fingering techniques, and uh, this one I call it the three finger roll basically using these three fingers okay unlike the triple strum which you use only two fingers but the the three finger roll actually uses three fingers okay well two fingers and a thumb okay so anyway uh we're gonna try this basically we're just gonna number each finger one two three one two three one two three and the roll what we're we're just gonna designate a string to each finger okay so uh say for the uh middle finger maybe i'll put it on the first string the index finger maybe on the second string and the thumb uh, either the third or the fourth whichever you feel more comfortable let's try the fourth for now okay or let's try the third so we'll go one two three okay one two three so first second third all right and then you're just gonna pick those strings in order okay like this one two three one Alternate the thumb between the third and the fourth string. So like this. One, two, three. 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 Okay, just like that. Got it? Okay. Now hold a chord. 
let's hold our um, D minor chord. Watch this, and do the same thing. All right, good. Okay. Now let's uh, let's add our high D there. Good. Let's slide it down a fret. Nice. Okay. Let's slide it down another fret. And slide it down again. Good. And that is the three finger. All right, we're gonna go over one more uh, one more technique. Now, now this technique, a lot of the techniques that we've done so far, uh, required a lot of work with our right hand. But this time, we're gonna we're gonna have our left hand do some of the work here. These are called pull offs. Okay. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold a string like this. For example, let's hold our C chord. We're gonna hold our C chord here. We're gonna use our index and thumb of our right. All right, so. Um, I sometimes refer to it as the pick, pull, tap technique. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick the first string with your right hand. See, pick. Then your left hand, you're going to pull. Just like that, see? Pick, pull. Pick, pull. And then with your thumb, you're going to tap the top string. Pick, pull, tap. Pick, pull, tap. So, and then, and then we're gonna, um, let's maybe go down the, I don't know, let's play different strings. So we're gonna go pick, pull, tap, pick, pull, tap. Then we're gonna go to the string above it, the note above it, and do the same thing. Then let's go to the string above that. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay. Just like Okay, that's the pick, pull, tap technique. There's also another uh, another technique where um, it's actually like a hammer on. Okay, basically it's kind of like the reverse of the of the of the pulling off, but the pull off. But it's a it's a hammer on. So that's when we play a string, but we don't actually pick it with our right hand. We just kind of hammer it on with our left with our left hand like this. See, see, that's how we get get the sound of the notes like this. So you gotta. And then you can also hammer on with your right, like this. For example, this is a this is a fun um, technique here. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold. Let's hold our um, put our index finger on the uh, on the uh, fourth on the bottom string on the fourth fret, and let's put our uh, let's see our index on the I mean our ring finger on the seventh, and our index finger on the twelfth, like this. Okay, so basically all we're gonna do is uh, okay this this might be a little bit more difficult but we're gonna pretty much tap with our right finger like this okay can you hear that just like that and then we're gonna pull off with our right hand like this so it looks like this one two and then we're gonna hammer on with our in the, with our ring so one two three one two just like that okay you gotta kind of do it a little bit faster otherwise it's it's hard to really you know get the notes to ring one two three one two like that okay and you can also move your left hand okay, so that's the uh, pull off and the hammering on techniques I guess all right, good. Ready to go. Let's uh, let's uh, go into another song. Here's a combination of techniques. <laughs>
we're gonna do a, a song that I'm sure you're very familiar with. This is a tune, um, it's an old Beatles tune entitled Yesterday. And uh, it's one of my favorite, all time favorite Beatles songs. This one is in the key of F. And there's a, uh, we got a little bit more chords in there, but I'm sure you can handle it. It won't be a problem, all right? So I'm gonna play it for you one time so you, um, you can get familiar with the song and just the chord voicings that we're going to be using and then we'll go right into the lesson all right here we go yesterday but today wait, wait. yesterday no just kidding <laughs> i don't lame. okay here we go <clears throat> All right, okay, no problem, here we go. So let's try this, yesterday, this is in the key of F, all right, so let's try this, all right? Hold your F chord, release your middle finger like this, so you have it, this is called an F add nine chord, all right? And all you're gonna do is stroke up like this because you want this top string as your melody note. So it's like this, yes, see? And then you're gonna pick your second string, see? Yes, there, there you go, that's your opening line. Watch this. Okay, you're going to put your middle finger right here, all right, on the third string, second fret. And you're just going to chord that. Okay, that's all, right? My troubles, okay, you're going to put, you're going to add your ring finger right here on the first string, second fret. Just like that, okay? So, okay, now watch this, all right? This is your G7 chord, but we're going to slide it up two frets, and that becomes your A7 chord. Okay, now chord that. Okay, now slide your ring finger out. Okay, now watch this. This is tough. Okay, you're going to slide everything out like this. Okay, from here, you're going to slide it out so your index finger remains on the second string, fifth fret now, your middle, third string, seventh, and your ring, first string, seventh. Okay, and you're going to chord that. Okay, got it? So watch this. Now you're going to extend your ring out to the eighth. There you go. Got it? All right, no problem. Okay, let's try that one more time. Okay. You don't have to chord every one if you don't want to. You can do it like this. See, I'm not chording every one. Okay, so you, you decide where you want to where you want to chord all four strings. Okay, now your next chord, you're going to bar the fifth, place your middle finger on the top string, seventh fret, and your ring finger on the first string, seventh fret, like this. It's kind of a difficult chord to hold, all right? And you're just gonna chord that like this. See, that's far, far, okay? And then you're gonna release this and pick the bottom string. See? Got it? Let's try from here. Now, all we're gonna do is slide down to your C chord, okay? Now, you know this is this is your B flat chord actually here. Okay, we get this from the A chord. This is your A, okay? Now it's like you're barring like this, and then you move it up, it becomes A sharp or B flat. Move it up again, it becomes B. Move it up again, it becomes C. See, so this is your C chord, just like this, okay? So after you pick that D minor, after you chord that D minor chord, you're gonna come down to your C, okay? And then you're gonna come down to your B flat like that. So watch this. Okay. Now B 
flat. All right. Now all we're gonna do is pick the bottom string, fifth fret, like this. Okay. Bum, bum. Then you're gonna hold your C chord, chord that. Then B flat node. Okay. Got that. Now you're gonna hold F, and you're just gonna bend that index finger down so you get that B flat note in the melody and chord that. Good. Let it go and pick the bottom string twice. All right. So watch this now, okay? From here, then C, B flat, okay? Okay, now watch this. F, bend that index down. Good, then pick the bottom string. And you can strum F, okay? So let's try it from here, all right? From the top, right from the top. Chord up. Good. D minor. Okay. Now there you go. All right. Now come down for the C chord. Now for the B flat. Five, five, three, one. Open. Second string, third. Okay. Now F chord. Bend the bend the index finger down. And then pick the bottom string. And you can strum F. Okay. Got it. All right. So now let's moving on. Okay. Now all you have to do is you have to hold that, uh, we did this in the other song here, it's the second string, third fret, that's your G note, okay? And you can hold the you can hold the C chord if you want to. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna chord down, but you're gonna stop at the second string like this. Okay, just like that. Okay, now hold your D minor chord, that's like your F, but you're gonna bend that middle down, and you're gonna chord that, okay? Just the top three again, all right? Stop on the second string, okay? Then pick A. Now you're going to remember how this is your F chord here. Remember I told you all you got to do is move the bar. Okay, so if this is your F, F chord here, okay, and you move everything up one, that becomes F sharp. Move it up again, and it becomes G, all right? And that's the chord that we're going to use. And just the top three again. So watch this. Okay. D minor. Now watch this. Good. Okay, one more time. D minor. Good. Then pick the third string while you're holding the G chord. 